Lee Sharp seemed to have it all. He was annoyingly good looking, blessed with more than his share of pace and skill and was at the best club in the world. His naughty boy image had echoes of a far greater United talent of the 60s. He was a lovable rogue whose cheeky smile, ability to conjure up moments of magic and sexy goal celebrations endeared him to the ultra and faithful, along with Ryan Giggs and Jamie Redknapp, the three of them being christened the Spice Boys. Shot was at the helm of the new trend of superstar footballers who regularly had their faces on the front pages of fashion magazines and advertising billboards. Football was becoming cool, and Sharp was right there at the forefront of this revolution. This one has gone down well for Lee Sharp on the after-dinner circuit. Late spring in 1992 was a very stressful time at Manchester United. They were in the process of throwing away the title to Leeds United and were in the middle of a calamitous losing streak. Lee Sharp wasn't worried and he brought Jixie off to a house party a few nights after United played West Ham. Ferguson got wind of this party and shot down there. The Manchester United manager did not feel he needed a warrant to enter this private premises. Ferguson claimed to have found a full-blown party in progress though Sharp disputes this. Giggs was reportedly found carrying in a cupboard when Fergie arrived. Ferguson ordered everyone out of the house, in spite of the fact only two of those present were Manchester United players. Despite playing 265 times for United, however, there was a feeling that he never quite realized his full potential as a player. The fact that he only won eight caps for his country seems to bear that out. He drifted out of football and into the world of reality television, appearing in Celebrity Wrestling, Celebrity Love Island, Dancing on Ice and Superstars amongst others.